Hi, Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this houndstooth pattern in Procreate. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have in front of me here a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas that's at 300 dpi. Um, translating that to pixels, it's 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to come over here and tap the wrench and we're going to select canvas and then we're going to tap drawing guide and then we're going to tap edit drawing guide and I just happen to know that for a 12 by 12 inch canvas um, that the grid size that I want is going to be 906 pixels because I want to divide this into four segments horizontally and vertically um, to use as a guide and you can adjust the color I like the cyan it's fine I have brought my opacity all the way up to max and my thickness all the way up to max just so I can really see when I'm using this guide I want to be able to see things so that's why it's so high it's, it's maxed out on both and when you're done with that you just tap done all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select black which it looks like it's already selected for me and I'm going to go ahead and go to my essential shapes now these essential shapes I'll leave a link for you in the description below but these essential shapes are free um, if you subscribe to our newsletter um, I like using them because it saves me time and the newsletter is free too so um, anyway you can get these shapes or you can go ahead and draw this as smart shapes and um, go that route too so you don't necessarily need the essential shapes but I like to save time I like to cheat where I can so I'm going to use these so I've got the square selected and I'm just going to go ahead and tap right here in the center and then I'm going to tap my uh, move and scale tool, transform tool. I'm going to tap uniform for the time being and I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to line this up on this line and also on this other line. So just bring this in like that and I'm going to make this really big so I can really take a good look at it. I'm also going to go over the edge because I want this to make sure that's right on the edge there. I don't want any lines in my tile and it looks like I need to bring this up just a tad right here so that it's actually lined up on the line. Okay when I'm satisfied with that then I'm going to go over to freeform and I'm just going to drag the center one all the way to the middle right about there. Okay and then when I'm satisfied I'm going to tap uniform. I just do that as a matter of course practice whenever I'm uh, creating here so that I don't misuse it later on accidentally. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to go up to uh, our layers here and we're going to create a new layer on top of that and we're going to create a, a cutting shape and it's going to be a square as well, but I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to change the color to something like green here. Um, oh, it looks like I had a green I could have used. Anyway, um, once I've got that color selected and I've got this new layer selected, I'm going to lay a square down again. This time, let's shrink this down so we can see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to go back to the transform tool and it's uniform, which is great. I'm going to line this up right here on the edges and I'm just going to make this uh, be a three by three square and it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it big enough to come down here and I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. All right, then I'm going to move everything in like this and I want to come down here and I want this to go right through the corner here and right through the corner up there, but I want to bring this up because when I am done doing this little trick, it's going to cut off whatever is on the outside. And I want to be able to use this shape again to cut the other side of the shape that I'm making right here. So this goes through both corners right there, right in the center. So that's perfect. That's what we want. And then we're just go ahead and tap out because we're satisfied. Then we're going to come over here to our layer and we're going to say, we're going to tap select. We could use a three finger cut or we could use our menu. But the thing is, we don't want to cut this shape out. We want to cut this shape. So we're going to get rid of that edge that's right underneath that triangle there. So whatever method you use, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you have that layer one selected. And when you do, you can drag down, get the cut menu, tap cut. And now you can see that we've got our cut here. We're going to go back up to layer two and we're going to uh, tap the transform tool and we want to uh, rotate this twice. Uh, actually, let's see, I guess it's three times, no, four times, there we go. Or you could have flipped, but tapping it four times works too. <laughs> okay, I always forget about that. Okay, so let's see, now I'm going to line this up so that it goes right, whoops, okay, let's make this bigger again. I want it to go right through this, this corner here and the same thing over here. So we're going to drag this up so that we can really see what's going on. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and select. And again, we're gonna come down here to our layer and we're gonna do the, we're gonna go over here to our wrench this time under add and we're gonna cut there. Okay, so those are two different ways to cut. I just wanted to show you that through this, this video too. So you've got the three finger swipe or you can just go ahead and use the menu too. Oh, three fingers a lot faster though. Okay, so now we've got our shape. Let's make this invisible here. We've got the shape that's the basis for everything that we're gonna do for this particular pattern. So now we're ready to move on and actually position these things. So we don't really need our cutter anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag to the left and then tap delete. Okay, I'm gonna drag to the left this one and hit duplicate for that. And then we're going to go ahead and start positioning this in uh, various places. So we're going to, here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and we're going to select our transform tool and we're going to move this first one just right next door to there. And we're lining, actually, I'm going to snap this. I'm going to use snapping to help me here position these things. So this is going to snap up. There we go. Right there. That's perfect. Okay. Deselect that. Then I'm going to come over and I'm going to create another duplicate of layer one. And again, select the transform tool. And this one, I'm gonna just move right up here. Okay, and we have that right on the edges and that, I love that snapping because it tells me I'm, I'm good to go here. So I'm gonna tap that transform tool and that one's good. All right, going back to layer one, as you guessed, we're gonna make a duplicate of it. And then we're gonna select transform and we're gonna move it. And it's coming all the way down here. Let's see, I need to be able to see that. Okay, so it comes in right there, and that's lined up now. Okay, that's great. Now one more, and this one's a little bit different. Um, so we're gonna make another duplicate of layer one. Okay, I select our transform tool, and then we're gonna tap 45 twice, and then flip horizontally once. And this just changes our positioning a little bit, so we have a nice flat edge right here, and we're just gonna position that right there. Okay, now we're almost done. We just now need a big square here so that we sort of create this little Batman look. <laughs> it's really part of our hands too, the sharper part. So let's go ahead and create a new layer on top, go back to black, and go back to our square, and just lay the square, square down anywhere. And um, then we're gonna select our transform tool and here, I gotta, this is bugging me. I had a little spot there, <laughs> move it out of the way. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bring this square right down here. And then I'm gonna use the uniform selector and bring this all the way up to there so that we have a nice two by two square. And now our basic pattern is actually done. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of it. So I'm gonna select the wrench and I'm gonna say copy canvas right there, okay? Then I have another set. Once you become a subscriber, there's a whole library of freebies and it's growing all the time. And inside that library of freebies is another set called the Essential Starters. And I love this because again, it saves me time. That's, that's why I love these, these tools. So um, I'm gonna select this, the texture starter from that starter pack, and I'm just gonna create a duplicate of it. I'm gonna tap it, and inside this tool, it tells me which of the either shape or grain that I need to replace to, to make this brush work. So I just happen to know it's the grain, but let's say if I went to shape, it doesn't say replace this one. But if I go to grain, it tells me replace this image. So I know for sure that that's the one I wanna replace. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap edit, import and paste because I copied that image. And it doesn't really matter uh, which one's black and which one's white. This pattern just works like this. So that's great. So when we're satisfied, we're gonna tap done. And then uh, you could sort of already see what's going on here. And then when we go, to, we're gonna go ahead and go to about this brush and it's no longer a texture starter, it's now houndstooth. Okay, actually I can't remember if it's houndstooth one word. Yes, it is, okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm gonna tap done. Okay, and then I would probably put this into another, another set just so I don't uh, you know, pollute the set with other things. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So you just grab it and then you, dump it and I it's right underneath the thing and right in uh let's see it's it, is that my demos no so right there there we go that's demos so that's kind of tough but anyway once it's in there it's in there um and now let's go ahead and test our brush so above that layer there I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer I'm going to dump white into it just so it's completely and I'm going to turn off um the canvas here now 
there we go the guides and then um, let's choose another color like I don't know let's choose that pink that's there and available um, okay and I need to select the right brush there and let's see what size do we want I think let's go with the biggest size first and then you can just lay it down like that and it looks great and that is hound's tooth for you um, and this brush I believe I made so that you could pick up your finger and continue painting yes I did okay so there you go those essential starters are such a great tool seriously it saves you time so you can do that and you're pretty much done or if you wanted to do something smaller let's do a smaller swath so, sorry turn that off again you could go even tinier and I love this because you know it could be any color it's really great so here's really tiny house tooth and let's go even tinier so even tinier which you really can't tell but you know that might be perfect for like if you're doing a um, some sort of uh, you know like a sweater for a character that you're drawing in anime or something like that or manga so okay there you go that's how to do hound's tooth if you've enjoyed this video please be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available meanwhile i hope your day is amazing